Today's true story from the Bible comes from the book of Ruth, chapters 1 through 4. In the time of the judges, God's people faced some tough times. There was a great famine, and a man named Elimelech had to leave his home in Judah with his family to try and find enough food to eat. He took his wife Naomi and their two sons, hoping to find food in a place called Moab. But after they left, something terrible happened. Elimelech died, leaving Naomi feeling very, very sad. Tragedy struck again. Both of Naomi's sons died, leaving Naomi devastated and alone with her son's wives, Ruth and Orpah. She heard there was food again in Israel, so Naomi decided to return home. As they traveled, she stopped and told Ruth and Orpah to go back to their own families. Orpah left, but Ruth couldn't leave Naomi. Ruth looked at Naomi and said, Where you go, I'll go. Where you stay, I'll stay. Your people will be my people, and your God will be my God. Ruth and Naomi went to Bethlehem, in the land of Judah. When they arrived, Naomi felt so sad that she asked everyone to call her Mara, which means bitter. She felt like she had left home full, but came back empty. She and Ruth were alone, without husbands, food, or money. Ruth wanted to help Naomi, so she went to work in a field picking up leftover grain. The field she worked in belonged to a kind and wealthy man named Boaz. Naomi was thrilled. She explained that Boaz was a relative of Elimelech, her husband. Boaz was a kinsman redeemer. That meant he could help family members who needed it. According to God's rules, he could even marry Ruth and rescue their family. One night, Naomi told Ruth to get dressed up and go speak to Boaz asking him to be their family redeemer. Ruth did just that, and Boaz agreed. They got married and had a baby boy named Obed. When Naomi held that sweet baby in her arms, the people in town said, Blessed be the Lord who didn't leave you without a redeemer. God had been so kind to them. Obed would have a son who would have a son who grew up to be King David. Many generations later, this family tree included Jesus. God not only helped Ruth and Naomi through their hard times, but also used their family to bring Jesus into the world. Jesus gives us hope, even in the hardest times, because He conquered death and offers us the hope of heaven.